Hey there everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at a Dell Vostro 3500 BIOS to see if there's any settings in here that you can modify and what you should and shouldn't modify in this computer. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to power up the laptop and start tapping the F12 key in a tap, 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 tap motion. And what you should see as it's coming up, it's going to pop open the screen up here that you can see. Um, should say like CD drive, hard drive, diagnostic setup, and so on. You're going to use the down arrow key until you get to enter setup. Hit enter, and it's going to bring you into the Dell BIOS screen. You can see that this is a Vostro 3500 with the Aptio setup utility from American BIOS. The Dell BIOS version is A07, that's Alpha 07. Now there is a newer version, Alpha Zero, uh, sorry, Alpha 10, that came out on June 2020. So they actually went 10 years from the previous BIOS and probably found a big flaw. So if your BIOS is old, upgrade it to the one that is June 10, 2020. We'll go ahead and show you how to do that in another video. The link will be down below in the description. This laptop you can see has an editable time and date field. It is currently correct uh, for, it looks like Pacific time, um, eight o'clock, 8.30. Uh, currently it's 11.30 my time. So the date is correct, 8, 10, 2020. 20. That means our CMOS battery is good if it has the correct date and time and it's holding when you power it down. The non-editable fields right here, we can see processor type, the cores, the processor speed, minimum, maximum, the cache sizes. Um, you can also see that it has three gigs of memory. 3000 MB is three gigabytes of memory. Also tells us the speed of the memory. We can use the down arrow and see that there are two sticks of memory in here. One is two gigs, one is one gig, both are the same 1066. Tells you which channel, which one's in. Those would be labeled on the inside of the computer as DIMM A and DIMM B if you weren't sure. Um, it does show us that we have an internal hard drive of 320 gigs. That's good information to know. And it also says that you have a DVD RW in your uh, fixed device bay. It also shows us we have Intel Graphics Media Accelerator. Uh, this particular computer has an HDMI port, um, which runs off of that. It shows it only has 32 megs of memory. It's a little older of a laptop, but it's okay. It has a native res resolution of only 1366 by 768. These are the same things that you'll be seeing on yours. 15.6 inch HD. I don't know really how that's HD, but okay. We'll go with it. Um, 15 inch screen. Shows the audio controller if you need to know that. And it shows the uh, there's wireless installed, Bluetooth installed. There is no 4G, 3G installed. And there is a 65 watt AC adapter attached. Those are all non-editable fields. That is what is in your computer. So when you read that, that is what's in your computer. If it doesn't show the correct information there, you might have a bad part. That's a troubleshooting step for you. We'll go over to the advanced one and we'll explore this real quick. System configuration. If we hit enter, that's, oops. Yeah, that's going to take us. Sorry, got a little confused there. So you're going to use the, the arrow keys to highlight it in white. You're going to hit enter. It's going to take you to the advanced tab. And then you'll see that the NIC is enabled. That's your ethernet adapter. Your SATA mode, there's a couple different versions. Disabled, IDE and AC, AHCI. If you have a SATA drive in here, I'd always go with AHCI um, for any of your newer drives. Does show that you can use external USB ports. You could disable those if you're in a business environment, although I wouldn't believe you would be in, in this case. Uh, media card slots are enabled. eSATA ports, the external ones are enabled. The modular bay is enabled. The fingerprint reader. I didn't even realize this had a fingerprint reader because it doesn't. <laughs> uh, express card, uh, camera, and microphone are all enabled. So if you needed to disable any of those hardware devices, like you didn't want the camera to pop on ever, you could disable it here in BIOS. We're going to hit the escape key on the top left of your keyboard to go ahead and back out to the next menu. 
Uh, we're going to select the performance one by using the down arrow one time. This shows us that Intel Speed Step is enabled, uh, the Execute Disable Bit is enabled, and Intel Virtualization. Uh, Intel virtualization, unless you're doing some sort of virtual environment within your operating system, you probably disable that one. Power management, USB wake support, wake on LAN. Basically, if something feeds into your LAN or feeds into your USB, it could wake up the computer uh, to process whatever you needed. These would be where you would change those. You can see disabled uh, USB wake support is uh, the default and wake on LAN is the default enabled post behavior this is going to be if you want to know if your ac adapter is going bad uh, if you want fast boot where it doesn't show you all the diagnostics up on the screen and keyboard click if if you have a key stuck or something it won't uh, pop up an error if that's disabled now down to your wireless card bluetooth is enabled your uh, wi-fi card is enabled that's wlan and wan is going to be 3g 4g that's enabled it doesn't really need to be you can disable that one if you don't have the card all right so we're gonna go over to uh hit the right arrow to get to the security tab you're gonna see some fields are changeable some are not so this is going to show the service tag of the machine. This particular machine service tag is right there. You can't change it, and I don't really feel a need to hide it. The asset tag, you can change. That's in blue. If you want to change your uh, company's asset tag to be something that's recognizable to you, um, again, this probably isn't going to be in a, in a business environment anymore, but that's what that field's for. There's uh, the unlock setup status is unlocked. It's just giving you a status there. Admin password is not set. In the blue, you can set it. System password's not set. In the blue, you can set it. Highlighted, it's white. Password on boot, do you need one? It's enabled if there is one. Password bypass is disabled. And password change is permitted. CompuTrace option is like a, uh, a low jack for your computer. That's deactivated for this one. Uh, it does show hard drive security, which you can arrow down to and select. And it's going to give you some more information about your hard drive security. Uh, if there's no other password set, it's not going to let you do anything on here. Uh, it does say security is supported. Security is not enabled. It's not locked. It's not frozen. And there is no password set. All right. Next arrow over to the right to boot. This is going to be your boot order. So if we want to change the boot order, we can hit enter on the first one and then we change it to whatever we want. If we want to boot to the hard disk, we can change it to that. If we want to boot to the USB uh, key, which would be like your thumb drive, you can boot to that first and then go to your hard disk. And then you can just disable the rest of them if you would like. That way the only things you can boot from, oops, and if you select one in this particular case, it will take it off the wherever it was in the, the rest of the list. So, oh, I did it again. So only selecting the devices that you want to boot from protects it from booting accidentally to a CD or something. And most people would actually change USB key once their computer's booted to just hard disk and have everything else disabled. Uh, arrow over to the exit that would be arrow right you can save changes and reset which is restart discard changes and reset which is again restarting restore your defaults which changes everything to what dell set it as from the factory discard anything that we did and just save changes and continue to go about our business so we're going to go ahead and save changes and reset and it wants to prompt you and you hit yes also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See y'all next time.